I did it. Somehow you took down the high overseer Campbell against me. I knew you were on my trail. With Campbell gone, we've hurt the Lord Regent in measure. And with Martin back, we'll have the final yeah. strategy for life. Just stops for a nip in the middle of it all. Shitting himself in Dunwall Tower. <laughs> yes, and Campbell's journal is not to blame. Our hope is that in these encoded pages, the location and condition of Emily Cauldron can be discovered. Our entire movement will mean nothing if we can't place the rightful heir on the throne. We must act fast. No doubt the Lord Regent is holding Emily somewhere. I couldn't tell that he hit anything. I'm not sure. If he doesn't bring the young lady forth soon, there will be infighting among the nobles as to who should succeed the Empress. Yes, time is against. But now you should yeah, I'm not well sure what he's shooting at. Now you notice the technology here is a little more advanced than our world's equivalent in that that pistol fired two shots. Yeah. And later on, you can up, you can upgrade your pistol so that it can it can fire several rounds before reloading. Hmm. It's still like it's it's. I think the maximum is like three or four. It's not like you can turn it into like a modern semi-automatic or anything. But you can jazz it up a bit. But now remember, we got some blueprints spec there. Sailors tell tales of monsters far out to sea, but I'll tell you, there's strange things in this river no one talks about. Lights in the water, late at night. I've seen faces too. Mm -hmm. Mermaids? Okay, that's, we've seen that one before. Ooh, a new audiograph. Here's, here's old Piero. Now we found some blueprints out there, so let's see what we can do. Mask Optics 2 is one of the best upgrades in the game. It lets you, it gives you a second level of zoom. You can see really far. Great, especially great if you want to, you know, pick people off at long range with a crossbow. Or just to spy on people. Hey, here we have bullet capacity. Capacity. Bolt capacity. Let's see what else shall I get. There's quite a few. There are quite a few things you can pick from, which is nice. Yeah, it looks like it. Bone charm yeah, bone charm capacity is a nice one to have. But I think I'll carry more horrible proximity proximity uh, based barbed wire landmines to tear people apart. That's just how I roll. Boy, sounds like a good day to me. Failed experiments. Oh, okay, this is, this is this is him just bitching about how people like Sokolov more than him. <laughs> now, I I I don't f I didn't get it in this playthrough, but apparently there's another audiograph you can find from Piero. So you know how he's talking about forces from the void, and you know he's having these flashes of inspiration. Mm. There's another one where he talks about getting about research he did, where he theorizes that the soul resides in the heart. And that if you could somehow keep a disembodied heart beating alive with machinery, you could keep the person alive. Hmm. And there's like, I remember, I remember where we got the heart from. Yes, the outsider. the outsider. And he's getting so. Makes you think, doesn't it? Do you mean yes, to tell very interesting. Please, sir, I was never in service with a noble. That's not an excuse. You need to learn proper decorum. The 
countess has seen a few lords and ladies in its day. If they were here, I expect they didn't want to be recognized, sir. Never mind that. Lord Pendleton ought to be shown the respect he deserves. He doesn't require it, but he notices. Yes, sir. Sorry. But even so, have you forgotten we may soon be guarding a future empress? You will be in the presence of the most important person in Welcome the entire back, known Master world, Corvus. and you don't know how to curtsy. But she's just a child, and she's not even here. No one knows where she is. Well, our masters are just the people to find her, I'll have you know. Please learn your manners before then. Yeah, that's Lord. That remember we call that's uh, Lord Pendleton's buddy Sometimes or I servant. The plague is just going to go on and on and on and kill everyone ever, and it's the end of the world. Think of that. Well, you're you're. Well, that, that was a pleasant conversation. <laughs> Thank you, Cecilia. <laughs> okay, again, this is one of the problems. Some of the characters in here are given like the generic servant lines, right. which they really probably shouldn't have been because they don't really make sense to for them. Like, I remember once I was like, I, I used it on Lydia. I said, like, you know, tomorrow she will be devoured alive by rats or something. I'm like, wait, what? And then it didn't happen, because... Right. Pendleton's Family Crisis. Hey, why don't you read this one? Okay. Cousin Anna. Morgan and... Cus Custis? Custis. Continue to resist my efforts and are no longer responding to my letters. The servants tell me that they've been absent from the manor for some weeks. My brothers have always been arrogant, utterly convinced of their own certainty, and they don't really give two fla figs, figs for anyone else in the world unless they want something and can't take it outright. But this disagreement over the upcoming parliamentary vote has reached a crisis point. Up till now, the Lord Regent has been somewhat restrained in his authority, at least where the holdings of the gentry have been concerned. If Morgan and Custis vote in his favor, the law will be changed and we will all be at risk, aristocracy or not. I implore you, if you know where they are, to speak with them. Lord Trevor Pendleton. Yeah. I so, can't take the name. Oh, go ahead. So, basically, yeah, the Lord Regent is, you know, ex rapidly expanding his powers, seizing property and whatnot. Hmm. Okay, get ready to unmute. Okay. Yeah, I can't take the name Pendleton seriously. Not ever since I played the uh, Silent Hill Down Four. Is there a Pendleton in that? Yeah, he's the main character. Memoir, Chapter Twenty-Eight. What? Waverly, Waverly. Remember the Boyles? Mm-hmm. The very come back. sweeps one away. She came into our cold marble hall and brought light and warmth changed our lives forever. It was only later I realized she was a traitorous little weasel, like all the Boyles. The Boyles uh, seem to be something of a recurring fixture in Trevor's life, or at least his thoughts. And Boyles is unpleasantly appropriate considering what you learn about their lifestyle, but... <laughs> <sighs> Events are going to move quickly now. The storm's rising. Corvo. Have luck, log. Well, it seems that we have invested in the right man with Corvo. Not only did he free Martin from the office of the High Overseer, but he went into that viper. Have luck, log entry two. Well, it seems that we have invested in the right man with Corvo. Not only did he free Martin from the office of the High Overseer, but he went into that viper's nest and sorted out Campbell personally. With Corvo in our company, I suspect there is no one in the world we cannot touch. We are now committed to this path. There is no turning back. But yeah, basically, I have luck. He adds a new log entry every time you return from another mission. Hmm. I assume they will vary at least somewhat if you do some of the alternate resolutions for the missions, although I haven't tested it. Even in my low chaos run, I killed all the assassination targets. 
I, I didn't I didn't buy this game to not assassinate anybody. You know? Yeah. I mean, when I'm playing good guy Corvo, he's not going to, you know, cut down, you know, security guards just doing just doing their jobs, but... You know, he, he, he didn't cut... He came here to kill somebody, by God, and he's not walking so away empty-handed. So you haven't done any of the, um... Low chaos, the uh, non -lethal. non lethal re resolution. Take no. Yeah. Although it's well, kind of, most most of them are, are at least as bad, arguably worse than just assassinating them. Yeah. <laughs> Which amuses me. The um, cause if you, if you get you can you can get um, the uh, the high overseer with the heretics brand. You eventually yeah. find, you know, he's a. You eventually you'll find him in a later mission, like as a weeper dying horribly, and you find his journal, you know, lamenting. His downfall, and really, it would have been nicer to to have just cut his throat when he had the chance. Yeah, well, I was going to tell you that in my run of this game, I did all non-lethal, so I can give you the contrast. But um, yeah, the note, even if you do the whole thing undetected, um, for whatever reason, he still blames you. Yeah, that's a, that, that was just a small oversight. They they are good at they often are good at at little details like that though, like you know those wanted posters. Yeah, I, yeah. I believe if you manage to go unseen the entire game, it doesn't even show the mask. It's just a question mark. Oop. As yet, yep. I have seen There's little one. of my brother's Morgan and cousins. Twins they are, and four years senior. Morgan is the larger of the two brutes by a slight difference. From earliest memory, they abused me in every way. I'm not the first to claim their elder siblings were cruel, but my suffering was unique. I promise you. At the tender age of five, they tied me to the crib and set inside it the sordid vipers they had collected over several weeks. My howls and my breathing were muffled by a blanket, and so it was hours before the nurse found me, barely alive. I had kicked a few serpents to a pulp and others had slithered away, but not before I'd been bitten a dozen times or more on my legs, arms, face. The wounds kept me convalescent for months while those two got away with barely a tongue lashing. Wallet! Bring me wine. <laughs> Tomorrow I will regale you with the special gift they gave me on my tenth birthday. We never do actually get to hear that one, sadly. Damn. <laughs> maybe I that'll know. be the maybe that'll be the next DLC. I know that's awful, but <laughs> couldn't help but laugh. You're lucky. Does this guy have any responsibilities besides bringing wine and being a douche to the other employees? Being an asshole. This morning and found five mistakes you've made. Very well. You're lucky I found. I think he's the manager. <laughs> it was a milkmaid who started it. She took ill one morning after her chores. But the milk had already been delivered. That was all it took for them to wall the place off. Plague spread fast. All right. Let's check out the heart. Oh, a rune. Interesting. New new runes and bone charms will often appear here after you know after missions. I kind of imagine the outsiders like sneaking sneaking in during the night and just hiding them for you to find like an Easter egg hunt. He's like a scary otherworld Santa. I hate to start your day with I like the Riddler. <laughs> the heard something. I want I want DLC like a DLC alternate character skin now where the oh, where the the outsiders dress like the Riddler. There's no hope for the more Make the, make this happen Riddler. make this happen Bethesda. This game seems pretty mod friendly. I imagine you would be you'd be able to do that on your own. Here's a key to the I need to look into that. I sent a servant down. They die of fear on the bottom. Maybe Piero can concoct some. Just put everyone in Riddler garb. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, the overseers, the Empress. Especially the Empress. God rest her still beating steampunk heart. They're important things we must discuss. But at the moment it seems we have an Okay, so there's there's some weepers in the sewers. The Admiral would like your they said. So I don't expect uh, you're not gonna not kill these guys. Oh no. 
I took them down non-lethally before, but... I mean, my previous playthrough, but not in this one. Now, killing Weepers does still count towards chaos. Yes. I mean, they, they, they do still count as, uh, as human. So. Oh, there's two runes. Now they and they can be quite dangerous, especially if, if they get the they spray this toxic spew at you, and if they get their hands on you, they can hurt you really bad, real quick. Ugh. Whoa! Uh oh. Ooh, there's somebody. A couple somebodies. 